Scientists are still scrambling to figure out ramifications, as well as what really happened to the planet Jupiter. Its sudden disappearance has caused an uproar of theories. All involved in the hunt for answers, however, do agree on one thing. The asteroid belt has been set free from its massive gravity field, and the effect on their orbits will be extreme. The Earth has what can only be described as a big target on its back. Shit. His name is Mitch Manners, and he's traveling through time. He can't remember where it started, how it started. Each time he goes back, he leaves his memory behind. And in its place, he's given a vision. Something he must do. the vision show I didn't have a vision no no but like I said I remember I remember like months and months of things walking to the shops meeting Susan flossing everything uh, you could always try uh... is that supposed to be a gun Mitch come back to bed uh, just a minute I'm not killing my girlfriend I gave up on that plan when she handed a blankie to an old smelly guy. You think I'm gonna do it now? That's worth a shot. Whatever happened to Jan, I liked her. What? Nothing. I was sleepwalking. Back to bed with you. I should punch you in your useless face. I feel like I've wanted to do that for months. Come to think of it, where the fuck have you been? I don't remember you at I feel all. like you're under the impression I know more than you do. I don't. I'm not hiding behind any curtain. I do what I'm told, like you. Like you should. Yeah, well, no one's saying anything right now. We've got no job, no direction. Hey, I have a job. Really? What'd you see? No, you dimwit, I... Why the hell are we whispering in here? Let's go outside. I have a real job where they pay me to do things a lot more grand than hail a cab. I think the gun is your best bet. Why not repeat what you screwed up, right? Because it's screwed up, that's why. <laughs> Blowing a hole in a nice girl's head is a few miles south of wrong. I figured that out all by myself. Not that the rest of this makes any sense, but killing is not gonna make the world a better place. I consider any world where asteroids aren't raining out of the goddamn sky a better place. This isn't about the girl. Nice score, though. Face it, you're fucked. You're a dick. Let's just say, hypothetically speaking, that Jupiter, the big badass ball of gas that it is, would stop playing hide and seek if one person had to die. It's one of those Mitch moments, right? Let me strap myself in. <laughs> Let's say there's a guy, and you know he's gonna wreck the world unless you smash his teeth in with a cannonball. Hmm. 
Saw that one, but still looking for the kite string, Nikki. <laughs> there is that. And I will start wearing those ears again in public. Don't think I won't. So, in place of nuclear war, we've got, you know, a wicked bad set of asteroids dead set on destroying the Earth. And in, instead of Martin Sheen, you've got, I don't know, some uh, average nobody, like, like you, for example. Oh, sorry? Average nobody? Um... Ah, yep. Uh, got me there. Let, let's um, upgrade to uh, a super cute, wouldn't kill a fly even if it was biting kind of girl. With a killer personality and above average community service. We back on the highway now? I don't know. Um, can you describe her for me? Yes. She has beautiful eyes of the deepest blue. <laughs> Brown. Green, and her hair looks just as beautiful as it did when it was long. You're such an ass! <laughs> and her smile makes me want to be a better man. <laughs> nice job there, suck up. Until her head goes pop. Brains all over the sidewalk. Okay there, psycho, no more coffee for you. But well, um, I guess under the strict circumstances, for the good of one and all, I would take the bullet. Well, that makes things easier, doesn't it? It's too bad I'm so selfish. I do it. Just point a finger and I'd take him out faster than you could say shoot. Well, fuck. Bob, you're a pistol, aren't you? The gentleman behind us has 11 items. I counted them for you. Uh-huh. Let's go. Oh, gladly. <laughs> We're really nonchalant about this end of the world thing, aren't we? I've noticed that. We're what you'd call domesticated. <laughs> Who's that? Dave. You really seem to hate him. Why are you friends? I've been asking myself that, thinking about killing him. You're in a really strange place today, aren't you?